Again, everybody watching the stream, this is Infinity, joined by my buddy Mike B over here. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Um, for everybody watching, please feel free to go out to www.tourneylocator.com. Sign up, look what you can find out there. You can use this as a tool to go and find any of the tournaments in your area. You can go on and click on the compete button under there, and you can look for any tournament in your area to go to and attend. You can also look up a tournament to watch the live stream, similar to the one that we've got running right now. You can also use this as a good tool to learn. Hence, we've got Watch, Learn, Compete, tourneylocator.com. It looks like the players are going to start on either FD or Smashville. Um, I believe I saw Oracle hover over um, Olimar for a minute there. So we'll see what they end up doing. Both of these stages are actually pretty good for characters that Oracle plays, and Bwet is rocking it out with a uh, Sheik that he just recently picked up. I got my buddy, I gotta say hi to you guys. What's up, Khalil? Say hey to everybody on the stream, they can hear you. What's up, guys? <laughs> what's going on, who everybody is? What's up, man? What's going on, buddy? One more small adjustment before we get started, because Oracle is not up 2-0 already. <laughs> Had to make that small change, and this is winners round two as well. Everyone, please go to Tourney Locator. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, that that, that website. Um, they're actually going to be doing a redesign of it pretty soon as well. Looking forward to it using the similar color scheme. All right, so we have Olimar versus Sheik on Smashville, and it looks like they're still getting set up. So maybe not so much. <laughs> I might have jumped the gun slightly there. It looks like yeah, it looks like they're just doing the a couple. Gun. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like a lot of people jumped the gun here. Oh, yeah. And are we... Yeah, they're just doing kind of a quick hand warmer. Yeah, because both of them needed to get their headsets on and get ready to rock. Yeah. And uh, because my buddy Khalil here just joined us, I'm going to fill him in on what's going on. We've actually only got two setups going. Um, one of them is for friendlies, so you can feel free to play on that or money match people if you want to. Uh, yeah, that's that one. And then the other setup, where, that's where all the tournament uh, matches are being recorded from and actually broadcast out over the stream. Oh, right on. Looks like both players are practicing their walking and running. <laughs> Smiling up there. These guys are just messing around at this point. I think they're just getting music and everything ready. They'll probably be getting started shortly, or at least I hope they will. This is the longest hand warmer. That sounds like a children's book, the longest hand warmer. Uh, I'm getting flashbacks. Yeah, we started back at like 7.30, 8 o'clock or something, man. I think it was around 8. Yeah, your girl was texting me saying you weren't coming, and I was like... Dude, I was about to drive out there and strangle her. Look at all this percent that he's not doing. Can you go see what they're up to? Yeah. Because let them know that we're ready to go. <laughs> Sorry for the, uh... Well, this is the perfect song as we wait. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's the it's the Smash Bros. music. Oh, yeah. It's totally elevated music. All right. So we got the reset. Hopefully we got game one started. All right. Yes. There we go. And we are off, ladies and gentlemen. What with an early grab combo with Sheik. Um, Sheik has been changed significantly since Melee for everybody watching. Um, it used to be her down throw was actually a guaranteed almost anything. That, that character's down throw was just a ridiculous. Would completely invalidate some characters because she could down throw to forward air and kill them. Like uh, Bowser. Even though he... he man, that, that character needs everything he could get back in Melee days. Um... So what we're going to be looking up from, looking for from the Sheik in this game, though, is her down throw and her back throw are actually DI mix-ups. Because if you DI inward from the back throw, she can re-grab or up smash or forward air, anything that she wants. If you DI inward from the down throw, then she can't... She cannot re-grab... No, wait, excuse me. DIing in towards Sheik on either throw is what sets her up for everything. Ooh, boy, got stuck with a white there. You see how much percent that did? God. I think it's hard. Oh, man. Um, They're going at it on this one. So, uh, her DI mix-up is actually, if you DI in on either one of the throws, then she gets a, a, a guarantee just about anything. The catch to it is, is her back throw puts her uh, puts you behind her, so if you DI to the right, and she's facing to the right, trying to DI away from the down throw, and she back throws you, you're going to end up DIing in. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah, and so it gets her a guaranteed anything. That yellow up air takes it. Uh, Elomar's up air has changed significantly from Brawl, and Brawl it was a multi-hit. Oh, 
<laughs> that caught me off guard. <laughs> that, was, that, happened that was kinda nasty. Yeah. Like he left a smoke trail and everything. <laughs> some crouch cancelling from Oracle. Um, crouch cancelling in this game, Mike, to let you know what's going on is uh, holding down while you're standing on the ground actually reduces the knockback to basically none, and you end up just on the ground. And um, you're able to act out of it immediately because you're just standing there. That right there was an example of the DIN where Brett was able to get the sweet spot up smash. That move is a killer. It hits so hard. As noted. Manages to get that white off him, so he doesn't take as much damage as he did in that first stock. That may have made that first stock completely different. Oracle needs to to, to really pull something out. He's a stock in 30% behind at this point, estimated. It's more like 25, but hey. Um, some of the things that they did keep from Sheik in um her is her down smash for sure. That still three hits three times. It's like a truck on the initial hit. Um, I see a question asking if I'm going to be doing this next week. It may have been asked a couple minutes ago, but yes, I'm definitely planning on doing this. This is a recurring weekly, so this is going to be something that happens every week from now until I am just a not able to do it anymore. Um, another thing that they changed about Olimar. Uh, oh, some really poor DI from Oracle right there, but because they changed uh, uh, Olimar's recovery a little bit. He was actually able to get back from the corner of the stage. Um, one of the things that they changed about it in uh, Brawl, uh, his down his down B whistle would give him uh, what we call super armor, where he takes a lot of damage. Here, he'll take the damage, but he doesn't get hit by any knockback. Um, they took the super armor off of the whistle, so that's no longer there. But what they did is, uh, in Brawl, his neutral B, the Pikmin pluck, where he pulls a Pikmin out of the ground, doesn't do anything in the air. If you do that in the air, you're actually just kind of floating there and then if you do it in this game it gives him a little bit of a bounce in the air it's not significant but it's enough that it bounces him a couple times and he's able to kind of recover a little bit better uh in addition to that they made his up B spring up a little bit so that he's able to actually get up let's see mike b <laughs> we got a shout out to mike b on the stream that was pointed out to me oracle has made a heck of a comeback just like we were talking about a minute ago really showcasing the skill of the player this character gets a lot of uh <laughs> we got somebody hating me in the stream chat. <laughs> Don't care who the other guy who is. Yeah, huh? That, that, that is a good friend of mine, no, Tobias no, Jones. No. We have legendary battles in Street Fighter for many years past. <laughs> and he has plenty of words to say, as always. It's <laughs> nice to know things have never changed. Uh, somebody was asking who Mike B is. That is this guy right here. Yes. This man, I cannot escape this man's popularity. I cannot escape this man's popularity. That's not true. Don't listen to him. No, no, dude. He has his picture next to John Cena up on the WWE page. That was like two weeks ago. And it's clear as daylight. He's standing there like going, like high-fiving John Cena, dude. Not it's the, just crazy. Not the WWE now he, he's, 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 he's going to go and he's going to downplay it. He always downplays it. But what you guys don't know is I have a standing bet with this man. He sits with me at work. He's on team with me at work. Here we go. If this guy Here manages to make it from our desk, from our desk, to the elevator or to the store that we're going to, like the convenience store downstairs, and actually manages to make it without somebody going, hey Mike, or Mike B, or anything along those lines, I will buy him lunch. I've had this bet going for almost a year now, Mike. Has it been that long? Uh, it's been almost, it's going on a year, but it's not good to lie to the people. Man, I haven't lost once. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've got game two on PS2. Uh, just to let you know, uh, I see Outward Smash. Yes, this is going to be uh, on Thursday every single week. Uh, this is located, I see Stranger242 asking where it is located. This is in North Arlington. Uh, if you're in Texas, it's about five minutes from the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Um, so, Wet ends up taking two Oracle 2 PS2, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, and... <laughs> We got some WWE stuff going on in here, interrupting my Smash commentary. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, this is great. This is awesome. So, <laughs> we got a. Uh, we have Oracle and Bwet on PS2. Uh, Oracle with a slight lead, Oracle with a slighter lead. Um, <laughs> manages to connect to forward air, does a little bit of percent to him. Uh, Oracle was really far behind in game one at one point. He was a full like stock and did some percent behind. But now he manages to take the game, take the lead in game one at only 83% on his first stock. Goes a little too low and throws a Pikmin there. I think we have a technical error from Senior Oracle. Man, recently he shaved his face. He looks like just a little baby at this point. Somebody card him. Yeah, dude, he is exactly 21. 
Ah, yeah. I, I don't think that they would believe him if they look at his face and turn and card him right now. <laughs> Deliver an AA to infinity? No, 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 no. Well, there is a uh, bed next to us. I mean, we can might <laughs> things get a little crazy. We might have to adjust the camera yeah, to get that going. Exactly. <laughs> For those that didn't, how are you guys doing out there? I know there was bad weather tonight. Stranger 242. How is the weather out there in Didn? Yeah, I hope you're staying safe up there, buddy. Yeah. I heard there was actually a tornado watch. Not a warning, a watch. Yeah, not only that, uh, pictures I've seen so far uploaded on the Facebook, we have softball-sized hill that destroyed some car windows. So, I hope everyone's okay up there. Ooh. Golly. Yeah. Yeah, we we did, we heard a couple car alarms go off down here. Oh really? Yeah, it was outside. Uh, we have Beck behind us letting us know about that one. Oh, and uh, to Tiny Kita, you know, I may not be able to do an AA to Infinity, but a, a GTS <laughs> CM Punk style that could definitely be <laughs> taken care. Right? You know, I could do a people's elbow over here on this bed. I'd know. have to jump from wall to wall, but I got this. Why not, right? You know. So back to the game. Actually, what has a lead? Again, we see not only a stock lead but a percent lead as well. Everything is just really solidly in Wet's favor. This is a significant difference from the first stock. Unfortunately, due to talking about WWE and Thunderstorm, oh, good needle from Wet, almost taking the, steal, the deal right there, but he used his second jump trying to get in with an attack and ends up getting hit out of it and dies off to the side. Um, Oracle is going to have to mount a pretty impressive combo. Uh, Wet's character, Sheik, is pretty comboable. She's light, but she's a relatively quick faller. She's not fast faller, but she falls quick enough that she can definitely be comboed on. Oracle, um, what happened right there, uh, to let you know, uh, tether grabs, tether recoveries like that, where they, they use their thing to recover from a distance, uh, have a limit of three snaps to the ledge, and he tried to snap to the ledge a fourth time, and so he wasn't able to connect right there. At least that's what it looked like to me. I might might be a little bit off on that. Thank you very much, Old Toby. Uh, I have no idea how to say your name. Old Toby. Thank you, Old Toby. Old Toby. <laughs> old Toby. Wet still has a stock lead, and uh, he, he, he's up to a killable percent, though. Uh, right there, as I say it. There's that commentator's curse. <laughs> Man, that's two tonight. Give these guys a break, you know? Man. I tell you what, I don't know they, if I can give them a break. I want I, I kinda want one of them in the loser bracket. <laughs> Wet, they're, they're really going at it. This is about an even match. This is a really even match. If this Wet manages to get an up air uh, gets the up air right there. <laughs> it almost killed him. Gets him with the down smash. Not quite enough to kill him. Gets him with a needle. That's two snaps to the ledge. Oracle managed to get on stage. Oh, Wet misses the follow-up right there. Probably could have either forward aired or done a uh, reverse aerial rush back air to seal the deal. Oh, I think he clipped him from his jump. Oh, gets him! Wow. I saw the ring of death come out. Whenever they use their second jump in this game, you see a ring pop up. Man, oh man, Wet almost had that game. <laughs> Woo! But you, you almost hate to see a no contest in there. Man. I want to see a winner, but man. Uh, let's, uh, let's see who we got up next.